Hello everyone and welcome to Flying Dirty. If you're into aviation and you're like me and enjoy watching other pilots' vlogs and experiences, then consider subscribing after watching this video and give me a big thumbs up. In today's video, I will be discussing the associated cost to restore an airplane like mine as per the request of several of my wonderful viewers from my last video. But before I start, I wanted to take time out to thank all of you for supporting the channel. On my last video, we were at 150 subscribers and two weeks later, we are well at over 500. So thank you very much for your support and thank you very much for watching, for your thumbs up and for the wonderful and inspiring comments you guys always leave me. Now let's get started with today's topic. cost of restoring an airplane, at least for a Cherokee 6. It may be a little cheaper for a smaller airplane like a PA-28 or a four-seater as opposed to a six-seater, but uh, this, th these prices are going to get you right around the, the, the ballpark, okay, so that you know what you're looking at if you're wanting to buy an airplane and you want to restore it. Uh, so, first things first. The first thing that we've done to restore this airplane was the interior and uh, I know that we've got a lot of stuff back here and you see all that stuff back there is because I have a graphic job to do in Dallas so uh, that's what all that stuff is back there but all of this interior was the first thing that I've done to the airplane okay as you can see new carpet and all that good stuff uh, so for, for the interior I got everything from AirTex, and uh, that included the carpet, the seat covers, uh, the seat support material because the material on the other seats was worn out, and when you sat your butt on the seat, uh, y your butt would sink, <laughs> and uh, you would be uh, very low, actually, uh, like a low rider. But uh, so I got all the cushions, I got support material, and all that stuff for the seats as well. Then all the panels that you see, so all these panels are uh, all new from AirTex as well. Okay, so I got the panels, the armrest, I got those from uh, AirTex as well. So here are the, the armrest, which I rarely use, but I guess, I don't even know why I don't use it. Actually, it's pretty comfortable. <laughs> I've never used it. Wow, okay, so the armrest, uh, the hat shelf. Now the hat shelf is way back there where you see that pillow in my emergency case. That's the hat shelf. So the carpet for the hat shelf, uh, I got that as well. They call it a hat shelf pad. The headliner I also got uh, from AirTex. The baggage panels, which uh, they're in the front compartment, so I got all the ba baggage panels. But the interior, anyway, was $7,400, okay? So that's what you're looking at for an interior. Uh, the other thing that I did to the airplane was the paint, uh, the paint job. Now, I did, uh, I did look for a lot of quotes online, and, uh, and the price for a Cherokee 6 ranged anywhere from $18,000 to twelve thousand dollars now again I was charged twelve thousand for the paint scheme but it can go pretty expensive uh, so just to let you know make sure you shop around because a lot of times it's probably worthwhile flying to another destination if you can fly in a spot that can do it much cheaper and save you thousands of dollars uh, now I also had the uh, prop changed and the reason I did that is because my two blade prop I found that uh, one one time I was about to fly cross country to Dallas, and while I was doing my pre-flight, I found a leak, and uh, and I didn't really like that, and I didn't feel comfortable, so I canceled the flight, and I had my mechanic inspect it, and then he removed it, and we ha we had it overhauled, or we tried to get it overhauled, but it would have cost more to get it overhauled than it would have to buy a new three-blade prop. So we did end up buying a three-blade prop from Hartzell, which I like it better. It gives you a little better climb performance. And uh, 
they say it gives you about two or three knots faster on cruise speed, but I didn't. I haven't really noticed that because I guess I didn't pay. I didn't pay it much attention before, and uh, so I haven't noticed that. But I have noticed that it does give you a better climb rate by at least about a hundred uh, vertical feet a minute. Uh, and the prop will cost about seven thousand five hundred for that if you need a new prop. In most cases, you don't need it, but. Uh, but the, the price is 7500 if you do decide to replace the prop. And, uh, and of course, that does not include install. So with me, I helped my mechanic and, uh, and I got a cheaper price because I helped, I helped him with the installation. So as far as your panel upgrades, well, that can also vary a lot, just like your paint job. That can vary. So my suggestion is shop around. Shop around because you can save again thousands of dollars. So I've, I've got a few quotes here. I got uh, one, two, three, four, I believe. Four or five quotes here. But here, let me go over these quotes. This is this is somewhere in Florida. Now, I'm not going to say who the quote is from or which company, but I can tell you that it was in Florida. So. You do, you, you, you take a guess. But uh, this was a company in Florida. They were going to charge me 800 to remove the, the old vacuum pump, $41,000 for the G3X that included the angle of attack. And then the Garmin G5 is a backup, which is included with the G3X. And then the Garmin Autopilot, which at that time, it was still not approved for the PA32. But recently, they have approved it for the PA32. But with the GFC Autopilot, uh, ADS-B in receiver, new breakers, which were, would have been around 1,200, new uh, panel design, which is what you're looking at here, the iPad mount. They were going to charge me $1,500 for an iPad mount. I think that's highway robbery. Okay. Uh, to move the 330ES, which is this one here, so I had the 330ES on my older panel, I had it over here, and I wanted to move here so that I can have an easy stack and I can reach everything with access. So for moving that, 500, then dual USB plugs, which I had these plugs here installed, one here and one on my pilot side, right under here, uh, those plugs, they wanted to charge 900 for that. So bottom line, uh, the estimated time would have been two to three months for the appointment. But the entire system with the G3X with this particular company in Florida was 46600 which is not bad. It's reasonable compared to other quotes that I, that I got. Now, that 46600 did not include the Garmin GFC because the autopilot was not approved. So that's one quote. Then another quote uh, for the Dynon, so, so the same company, they quoted me with the Dynon. So pretty much the same thing for all of the other optional things that I wanted done, except but $25,000. So here's a big difference. $25,000 for the Dynon versus, oh, where is it? Versus $41,000 for the Garmin G3X. That's a big difference. So that was part of why I went with the Dynon. Not only the Dynon, I think, can do a whole lot more features than the Garmin G3X. The Garmin G3X, in my opinion, is all about your name. So you're paying for that luxury, for that, for having that name. Uh, but also your um, your charts are so much more expensive with Garmin. So the charts, which I'll go over, uh, I'm going to do another uh, episode here on why I like the Dynon. So the Dynon for your IFR, VFR charge, $99 a year. Also, your base maps and your terrain are free with Dynon, free. So I really like that. That's another reason I, I went with them. But uh, comparing the two and for the price and not only that, it was compatible also with the True Track. I went with the Dynon. Uh, but uh, but anyway, let's go over the quote for the uh, with the Dynon. 
So then the Dynon Autopilot, which this Dynon has a very nice autopilot and it is full with everything you need. I mean, the autopilot has everything, including IA IAS mode, uh, it has your automatic trim, you can do ILS approaches, you can do GPS approaches. I mean, it has everything, okay? It even has your, uh, it even has your damper. So, it, it pretty much everything an autopilot has. And, and the autopilot is built in the system. All you need to purchase are the motors and installation. It is a very cheap, reasonable autopilot. And it does everything. So, it's not available for the PA32. Now, what I don't understand is that they approved it now for the PA34, which is virtually the same airplane except but two engines. So I'm not sure why they approved it for the PA34 and not for the PA32. But anyway, I'm waiting for that to be approved and then I may consider uh, actually putting that autopilot in and replacing my true track, but I don't know because I'm actually very happy with my true track. But that's just something to consider. But anyway, uh, the Dynon ADSB receiver the Dynon engine monitor, they wanted to charge me $9,000. Now, I think that's a little bit overboard. Uh, so here's what you get. So with the Dynon engine monitor, you get all your monitors, okay, which I love it because with the, with the Cherokee 6, what I hated about the way that they installed your instruments were I had to look way over here for my fuel gauges and all of my other instrumentations like my old oil temp and all that. They were way out of reach, and it drove me nuts, especially at nighttime. It drove me nuts. What I love about this now is that I have my engine monitors all right here, and they're precise and accurate. So I really, 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 really love that. So uh, so that's one of those things that, uh, you know, again, the monitor, it's included. It's built in the system. You just need an engine monitor module and then also your connection so it shouldn't be nine thousand dollars that's just <laughs> that's my opinion uh that's highway robbery as well uh the dynon aoa pro uh, probe which is this uh angle of attack so this a lot of people ask me what is that noise that beeps whenever you're landing and approaching so it is this angle of attack so right now of course we're all the way in the green because we're cruising very fast but as you slow down this will start decreasing, and uh, and as it decreases, it starts slowly beeping, and it increases with intensity when you reach your stalling point of the wing angle of attack. So I do like that uh, probe that they installed under the wing. The Dynon is just absolutely fabulous. I'm very pleased with it. So bottom line is 43,700, and again, with no autopilot. Then I had another local company for the same setup with the uh, with the Dynon and with the True Track installed. Now, now keep in mind, I already bought the True Track. I already had it. I just had it sitting in the box lying around waiting for someone to install it. Uh, my mechanic just couldn't get around to it, so I had it installed when I did my whole panel upgrade. But uh, but anyway, that included to install this True Track. And that was a $50,000 estimate. So right there, more than this, okay? So, so yeah, shop around, guys. So $50,000. And then, uh, Saint Aviation quoted me uh, 16090 uh, I'm sorry, 16790 for the Dynon package, which was very... Or uh, much more reasonable than the other quotes I received, and then 1,200 for the ADSB, 3,333 for the engine monitor. Now that's what I'm talking about. Not nine thousand dollars. Come on, that was a little bit ridiculous. Uh, and then 750 for a module for an interface for the 430W, but uh, but in this case it'll be an interface for the Avidyne since I got the Avidyne now. And then uh, the Dynon Com 2500, which is this Com that you see here, which is also controlled by the Dynon. And then uh, 1500 for the new breakers. I thought that was a little too much, but that's okay. Uh, 
to design the panel was 1500 that's pretty typical thousand dollars for the dynon probe a little higher than the other company but that's okay uh, that's that's very reasonable and then here it is two hundred dollars for the ipad now i didn't get i didn't get charged that because i ended up just uh doing a panel mount myself it was pretty simple to do so i just went on and clipped it on there myself and it's it's portable so you can take it in and out so it's not built in so that's why i was able to do that and then uh three thousand dollars he charged me three thousand to install the true track which again i think that's very reasonable and hundred dollars for usb plugs look at that not nine hundred so and then sixty five hundred dollars for the avidyne because i traded in my 430w so that came to a grand total of 38,373. Then I got another quotation from another company in Texas. Uh, now this, this one scared me a lot. So the other company wanted to charge 9,000. This company wanted to charge 11,625 just to plug in these instruments. Boy, that's ridiculous. But anyway, that quote came up to 57,730. All right, so then that's that quote. So guys, when you're restoring your airplane, just make sure that you shop around because shopping around can literally save you thousands of dollars. Uh, now, why did I go with Saint Aviation? Even though it was further, I had to go to Florida. Uh, the reason I went with him is because the price was reasonable and then I also have already seen his work. And I've already seen how his installations would look on a PA-32. So I knew what I was going to get. And, uh, you know, and he knew how to sync the true track with the sky view, which some people, uh, when, I, when I was talking to him about the quotes and all that, they didn't know how to really do that. But I've already seen Jesse install this on other, in another airplane from another video that I saw. So I knew that uh, he could get the job done and I knew that I would be satisfied with the job that he was gonna do. So that's another reason why I went there. And again, I'm, and, and I'm, and I'm extremely happy with the installation uh, procedure. It, it only took about two and a half weeks to get this whole thing redone. So the guy, he is very organized and uh, he knows how to get things done. So that's another thing. I didn't have to keep the airplane uh, waiting without flying it for so long. So I recommend uh, anyone that has a PA-32 or even a Piper or whatever airplane you have, if you want to, if you want to upgrade, uh, I highly recommend Jesse at Saint Aviation. He he's done a very tremendous job of my airplane, and I'm very satisfied. And uh, and I'm sure that you will be satisfied as well. So I hope that this helps uh, at least give you the figures that uh, you know that you may be looking for to get you in the in, in that ballpark. Now the other thing I didn't mention, which I haven't done, uh, because my engine had has low time. But uh, if you do need an engine, if you need an overhaul for the Piper 32 for a 300, I believe the overhaul will range anywhere from 35,000 to 40,000 dollars. And if you buy a brand new engine, that can cost you up to 60,000 dollars plus, depending on, on where you uh, where you get it done. And I do believe that's just the engine. I don't believe that that includes the uh, installation and all of the stuff and all the work that you have to do. So. That's another thing to keep in mind that if you get an airplane that has high time on the engine and it's time for that overhaul, uh, you should consider those uh, factors. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, I hope that this video was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions on upgrades and things of that nature, then let me know. I'll be uh, happy to answer your questions. Take care, guys, and see you uh, on the next episode. And with that, don't hesitate to leave a comment. And let me take this time to thank out all of my subscribers. Thank you, and please continue to share my videos with other individuals to make this channel grow even faster. And if you're watching me for the very first time, then support the channel and subscribe. And if you love aviation as much as I do, also give me a thumbs up. Until next time, 
Take care, stay safe, and have a great day, my friends.